Everyone is touched by ACEs. Adverse childhood experiences affect the lives of people of all ethnic groups and economic backgrounds. The long-term outcomes impact the health and well-being of the individual, as well as those in the community around them. But those experiences are fact, not fate. We all have a part in healing and changing the culture. Adverse childhood experiences cause psychological and physical difficulties in childhood that extend into adulthood. The basic architecture of the brain and how we build stronger brains and literally set children up for a healthier life trajectory, that life course trajectory where we know if we give uh, children the healthiest start and we support their parents and young families, that those children are going to be healthy, productive citizens later in life. The early years are very significant and very important because this is a time of great brain growth and development in children. So this is just a time when your brain is really trying to create all this wonderful structure. And so in childhood also, this is a time when your child's developing a lot of the emotional centers of their brain, how they experience happy, sad, frustrated, feeling silly, just your main feelings. So this is an important time to get involved with kids because it's the time where we can teach them what their feelings mean, how they experience their feelings, and how to express them in healthy ways. How does the brain grow? If you think of the brain like a house, if you think of the brain and brain architecture and building that foundation, how do all those nerve cells in the brain come to be a frontal cortical nerve cell or be a nerve cell that controls this or that in the brain? How does that happen? We often think about genes. We think about, well, it just must be a blueprint there. But the single most important ingredient for a healthy foundation of the brain is relationships caring relationships, and what we might think of as serve in return. If an infant coos and you coo back at them or talk with them, what that lets them know is that when I make some sort of motion or sound, something in the environment is responding to me in a positive way, and it strengthens those brain connections over time. Those are really critical for laying that good foundation for later brain development. You can read to your child, Everything that you say, new words that they hear, new music that they listen to, all of that helps to develop a firm foundation for a healthy brain. We want parents to hit that ball back. We want them to learn how to be a responsive caregiver to their child. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream. This program was produced under an agreement with the State of Tennessee. More information about identifying ACES scores, paths to healing, and how to help others is available.